Uh, well, guys, uh, racing this weekend did not go as planned. We were at Valley MX. I did Open C and 250C on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Saturday went pretty all right. We got third place in Open C, and then we got fourth place in the 250C class. So that went pretty good. Sunday I woke up and I decided I wanted to make a vlog for you guys so I kind of had filmed a little bit so I'm gonna put that all in this video so you guys can see but we had a pretty big uh, pretty big crash and that sent me to the hospital so uh, I still have uh, a clip of me on my way to the hospital so I'm gonna throw that one in here too Actually, I'm going to throw it in here right now so you guys can see, and I'm just going to talk over it. It's just a short clip, but there's no audio, so uh, I guess here you guys go seeing that. This is what it looked like after the crash. I was heading to the hospital. I kind of don't remember what I was saying in the video. I was probably somewhere along the lines like, uh, we're all good guys. Uh, we're heading to the hospital. Things are going to be good. I'm going to get healed up and get ready to get back on the bike. It's probably something that I would say. Uh, so that's what I looked like. Uh, I was a little rough, a little rough. Um, we went out for Moto 1 250C and I didn't make it through the first lap, unfortunately. Um, as you guys know, or maybe if you guys didn't know, I had a crash that was two weeks prior to this. Uh, at Sh Alan Sherlock Sandtrack, we uh, had a fourth gear crash and I kind of injured the left side of me. So that was not feeling good, which it still hasn't. Um, it's actually five days uh, after uh, Sunday. So it's it's Friday right now. And this is uh, the first time I really got enough to do anything. I guess I'm just gonna explain to you guys how the crash uh, happened. We started the race, it was uh, 250C. I was like last gate pick so I lined up all the way to the right side and I was like the last one to come out of the gate it was a terrible spot to pick a gate but we made a couple passes in the first few turns everything was going good I was amped up because I just came off of a win uh, pre uh, previously the first moto of the day was open C and I uh, I made my passes in the first lap and led the entire race so that was sick to get my uh, my first win out of the year, for my fir my first moto win out of the year. And then second moto, we made that we made those passes. We came up and I think we were in fourth place. And I I was washing the front uh, over a, a hill as we were about to go down a downhill on a left-handed turn, but there was a pothole there that I wasn't expecting and it just hit my front end really hard and it bounced me and we were going downhill so when it bounced me I kind of went off to the right of the bike it was like falling down the hill and everybody was coming behind me and it's like a blind downhill so I just thought hey I need to get off the track immediately so like as soon as my body was like touching the ground I, I tried to stand up and sprint off the track but unfortunately there was another rider coming down the hill and he hit me uh, right in the helmet this helmet, which I just bought brand new because I broke the other helmet in the crash two weeks ago. So we took the tag off this helmet Saturday morning for the races. And unfortunately, we already need a new one. But things happen. So uh, I actually haven't washed the helmet. This is actually the first time I pulled it out of the truck since I've uh, been home. But it's still covered in blood. All the padding and everything is uh, really bloody. We broke the right side of the helmet. It's actually not even uh, the original shape anymore. It's dented in and the front end is pushed to the, the left. Uh, I cracked the helmet over here. Yeah, the helmet is, uh, it took a hit. Brand new helmet, but I mean, I'm still here today. So that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't even notice in here that the phone was all cracked and broken. So, 
as far as the injuries go, I, I had a really big concussion. Uh, I cut myself right here in my face, which you guys can see, uh, and my eye was completely sh uh, swollen shut. I sprained my right thumb, which is uh, the swelling is just now starting to go down. So that was that injury. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys the stitches real quick. And then also, I had a pretty good black eye, so if you guys can see that. Now it's, it's turning uh, yellow and purple now, so that's pretty good. Hopefully a few more days and that'll be healed up. But the cut that I have on my face, uh, it was actually so deep, it, it cut the nerves in there. So I'm just now starting to get feeling back in my uh, upper lip because it was completely numb up until uh, it was a little bit like last night when I was like starting to really start to feel it. It's still not there all the way, but if I poke my face up here, I can feel the nerves like in my lip, which is really, really weird. But I think that's gonna heal back fine and will be good. Uh, Cause that would suck to not have feeling in this area of my face. But it seems like it's doing all right. I actually have nine stitches right there. So they, they stitched me up pretty good. So I've been keeping some ointment on there. Hopefully it doesn't scar too bad, but it is a face cut, so I'm expecting it. Uh, how I feel about the incident. Racing's racing. I knew it was dangerous when I got on the bike. Anything can happen out there, and I'm all right with that. Uh, I was a little upset that I had to leave because I didn't want to finish the races, but definitely wasn't going to be happening with uh, the condition I was in at the time. I am looking forward to getting back on the bike, but... I still might try to get to a track and at least get some footage for you guys, but it probably won't be of me riding. I'm going to put the crash in here too in the video for you guys to see, but I'm going to cut it right after right after I crashed. It was kind of crazy and my parents don't really agree with me having that on the internet. So for their sake, I'm not going to put all of it in there, but I do want you guys to at least know uh, what actually happened and be able to see it. So I'm going to throw that in here later in the video as uh, as the vlog goes on. So I'm hoping we can get on the bike uh, at least within the next month. My goal is to to be all up and running and, and back in shape for uh, the Loretta Lynn's qualifier at Valley. Um, I do plan on being back there at that track and competing to to get into a regional qualifier. So we'll see how that goes. Well, I guess that's I guess that's all I have to talk to you guys about. So. We're going to go ahead on with this video and continue on with this vlog. We're going to start we're going to start it off with me waking up in my truck on Sunday morning and then I'm going to throw in some clips from the first race and then go ahead and throw in the accident which will be uh Moto 1 250C and then that'll be the end of the video guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys want to leave a like, go ahead and do that. Uh we're progressing really really quick this year which is insane as soon as i'm healthy again and able to get on this bike i'm ready to rip and uh ready to get back to work and put in the time uh i really love this sport and there's nothing nothing that's going to stop me from uh from racing so if you guys want to hit that subscribe button or tell your friends maybe uh then come over here, watch the YouTube channel, and uh, watch me as I progress. Cause one day, one day I'm gonna try to be a professional and uh, get my pro card. So we're gonna film the entire thing, the entire process of me going from a C-class rider to becoming a pro. So if you guys wanna hop on that journey and watch me as I grow, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, guys. Uh, I don't even know. I think I, I think we covered everything, guys. So. About to get back in the house, get to editing. That's all I got for you. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you when I catch you. So you know me. All right, peace out. Well, guys, um, unfortunately, I was in here editing this video, and this new. Uh, this new piece I got for the GoPro so I can have the mic'd up motos. 
was actually left in the GoPro when I was recording all this and because I left that in there there was no audio at all to uh, any of the vlogs at least at the beginning of the day so all of this has literally no sound just fuzz so uh, I probably won't use all this but we might try to do a little bit of voiceover and uh, see what we got so just so you guys know um, some of this is going to probably be a little bit voiced over and I'm going to cut most of this out. Uh, not that we can do, but try to do better next time and uh, not forget it. So, all right. All right, guys. So we got up pretty early in the morning. It's probably like 7.10, 7.15 a.m. I got up here to go get signed up because I uh, missed sign ups the previous day. So this is just me getting signed up. Uh, clicking all the buttons on the kiosk, you know, and then we go up to the window, um, we're going to pay our money, sign a little waiver form, and then we're going to walk back to the truck, once we get back to the truck, uh, I'm going to show you guys my, uh, entire sleeping arrangement, that's where we slept at for the night, we slept right in the truck, we just had the bikes in out right in front of the truck all night, which I felt like was a pretty safe area, and then, uh, right here in the back seat, uh, we have a quilt down and then like a, a moving mat that I put down there. So that's what I laid on. Uh, we had this uh, blanket I put down here for my feet and then this really thick blanket which kept me warm all night. I actually uh, had some alarm set on my phone to wake up every two hours to uh, start the truck and keep it warm. So I just woke up every two hours, started it up and, and then I had a 15 minute al uh, snooze alarm to remember to turn the truck off that way I didn't fall asleep with the truck running and get too hot. But that's what it is. It's uh yeah, it was pretty cold out there that morning. It was uh 35 degrees out in the morning. Uh today we're looking at hopefully uh 48 degrees. We got everything packed up. I had to move everything to the back seat because everything was like kind of packed in the front. But that was that. Um, I had to go fill this water tank up. We got a water tank. I didn't really show you guys that yet, but got a nice cool water tank uh to power wash the bike at the track. Uh, we got a power washer now too. Thanks to my sponsor, Extremely Clean. This is just the process of me getting it filled up, head back to the truck, and I'm gonna get um, kitted up for the day. So I finally got knee pads, so I got some knee pads. I had some compression uh, knee guards under there. So I got my knee guard, my compression knee guards on, then my knee pads, and then I put on my pants, and I got some thick like winter socks on, and then I put on my uh, new boots. I finally got some new boots, and we got some Alpine, uh, Alpine StarTech 7 boots. Uh, we came up with the Fox Instinct ones. Um, these are brand new boots. This is actually the first time I wore them, so I, I can't really tell you guys uh, how I really feel about them yet. I always ride in my, uh, my No Look hoodie because that was my main sponsor, and I really like this hoodie. It's uh, really comfortable, and it's thick, so I feel like it gives me a little bit of protection against rocks, and it keeps me warm, especially out here in this cold weather because it stays really, really cold here in Michigan, uh, especially for the beginning of the season. I uh, get out there, uh, start the bike up. You gotta pull the choke and everything, so that's what's that. But that's really my whole morning. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get ready to get on the track and uh, go out there for either the first practice or the first race. I'm not exactly sure what comes up next, but that was what uh, the morning was like. So yeah. All right, guys. We're out here about to go out for practice. Still cold as heck, but hey, eh? got two tear offs.
What's it doing? Well, I'm gonna give it gas, it just cuts out. Number 33? Yeah, in the yeah. army green hoodie. No! Yeah, dude, he cartwheeled. Like, I almost, almost fucking... Like his... The guy didn't pull the flag out right away, and I was looking, and he like, started to, and I was like, oh, fuck, and I jumped on it, but I don't think it was right claw across. All right, guys, we're out here for Moto 1 250C. Oh, um, yeah, we decided to pick the four outside gate because I do like to be close to the outside, and the ruts on the open gates on there were really bad. I was, like, glass gate pick, so... 